planning on doing your HGV license? Or maybe you've just passed your heavy goods test. Maybe you're a little bit unsure of how to secure a load. Unsure of working time? Driver's hours? Or maybe you're unsure how to hitch up to a trailer. If you're unsure of any of these, then why not check out the all new revamp for 2023-24 essential new trucker's handbook. It even gives you advice for passing your LGV driving test through to your, from your medical, uh, through to your theory test, gives you all the questions on your theory test. Even if you've been driving for years, trust me, this book will update your existing skills. It's the essential new trucker's handbook by Malcolm Green. Links in the description. Check it out. Enjoy it. Enjoy the video, guys. Hello. How is the, how the devil is everyone this week? Hope everyone is well. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the vlog. You join me. Uh, what day are we on? Tuesday. And uh, as you can see, it's dark. It is half past nine local time because I'm in France. I am in uh, Calais truck stop and I've been here since yesterday evening. Uh, I had my 24 off uh, Sunday into Monday night. Uh, let's just go around, I think. Uh, I had my 24 off Sunday into Monday. Uh, started last night, got told to come over. Uh, we had four pallets to pick up from Civep and bring them back to the yard. So made my way over last night, ended up uh, Civep hadn't released the pallets and uh, got told to go and pack up. So I couldn't get in the truck village, so I've had to come over to um, Cali Truck Stops, C4T. So I'm about 15 minutes away from, uh, from Cali, uh, from the tunnel. And uh, yeah, all plans have changed now. I uh, got told to wait today to see if the, uh, the pallets would be released. They haven't been released and they then got the message earlier on this afternoon uh, that I've got a three dropper now. Uh, trailer's been brought over for me. <clears throat> Young Will Ketley is uh, bringing it over for me. He's now in Civep. So I'm heading over towards the truck village. Hopefully I can get in there tonight just to do a trailer change because um, Will wants to stay there tonight. So I'm heading over there and uh, we will get a trailer change and I'm doing another night shift. Now, difference is now, <laughs> I've actually had some sleep. I had a good sleep this afternoon. So I'm uh, all fresh and raring to go. After 200 yards, turn right, then bear left. It's hoping now that these will open. There was trouble with my registration. Yep, there we go. Yeah, the uh, ticket that printed out last night got my registration number wrong. It's on AMPR. And uh, it got my registration wrong. So I had to, with here, you've got to take your ticket over just before you leave. Uh, it's on Snap here. So we just uh, sort that out. But then, obviously, because it had the wrong registration on the ticket, it had to be sorted out. Um, and apparently, he's now sorted it. So we're just hoping these gates open now. Maybe come forward a bit more, I don't know. They're not opening. Oh, there we go. Happy days. It's all sorted. He said it would be. <laughs> yeah, instead of it being um, BT55WAY, they had it down as BT56WXY. AMPR obviously didn't read it properly as I came in at night last night. Yards, turn right, then bear left. But there we go. So, turn right, I am heading uh, to Belgium and the Netherlands. Uh, first drop is in uh, Longheim, which is the one I did last week. Um, then I've got to go up to, uh, or go across to the Netherlands. I got one drop in the Netherlands and then head back down towards Halle, H-A-L-L-E. I think it's Halle or Hale. It's 
whatever it is, uh, and that's my last drop, and that'll be for eight o'clock tomorrow morning. My first drop is 4 a.m. Um, it's about four hours away uh, from here, so it might be a little bit longer now if I, because I've got to go 15 minutes back that way now to uh, go and get the trailer. Um, but I've got plenty of time, as I said. It's, uh, it's now quarter to ten. Um, After 200 yards. The so I've got plenty of time to get over there, even with a, if I have a short break. So we will just have to wait and see what happens tonight. But I thought, right, well, I'm going somewhere different. Well, I'm not, but I am. <laughs> going to Longhine, uh, which you did with me last, I think it was last week or the week before. Um, and Halle, I did that one with you as well at the same time as the Longhine. Uh, but I've got the Netherlands to go with it. Um, so I've got Longhine for 4 a.m., uh, Halle for, no, Netherlands for 6, and then across then to Halle then for 8. So hopefully, After fingers crossed, yards, the, uh, right on the, roundabout and take the day will go exit. okay. Right, let's turn these off because I'm going to be getting down onto the main roads now. Uh, well, you, right well, you will have noticed, I'm trying the camera, exit, then turn right. um, trying the camera on my seat. So obviously I can't use... Uh, Ladder cam. So I'll try it on my seat, see how it comes out on my seat. And you can also let me know if it's any good. So it should give you a wider view of what I can see rather than just being stuck on the screen. And the good thing as well is I've got USBs in my fridge so I can just keep the camera plugged in. And uh, I won't lose charge on it. So, dropping down onto the A16. Heading back over towards the tunnel. Got to go into the truck village. So, uh, yeah, let's crack on over there. And uh, I'll probably speak to you then when, uh, when I swap trailers and I'm on my way. So, see you in a bit. Doodles. <laughs> Right then, that's young Will. Just done a trailer change with him. Actually in Civep, couldn't get into the uh, the truck village. It's closed, it's full. So just uh, had a he, well, he hadn't even got on the bay by the time I got here. But he's been on the bay, had all of everything checked and got the paperwork back. So we've just done the trailer change. And uh, I'm now heading for my first one in Liège, uh, Longhine. So, it says I'm gonna get there for five to three at the moment. They don't open till four o'clock. So the first, uh, my first tip is for four. Um, turn right, then at the end of the road. And I gotta go over to uh, Netherlands. That one's just over the border. And then uh, back then towards, um, it's up toward, back towards Brussels way, uh, Halle, Halle, something like that anyway, H-A-L-L-E. So. After 90 yards, turn right, then at the end of the road, turn right. After 200 yards, go Busy, straight must on. have, uh, train must have just come in. Go straight on, then take the motorway. So Will's now going to, uh, the main one is shut, so he's going to, apparently he's going to check out, there's another truck park in there which I didn't know about. But he's going to see if that one's uh, got space. If not, he's going to go over to C4T where I was, over at Cali Truck Stop. So we just have to wait and see on that one, see how he gets on. Again up onto the A16 now, heading towards Belgium. I'm going to say it's uh, three hours and 53 minutes away. So I'm hoping that camera is not too bouncy. I'm going to say it's just literally clipped onto the. I got a lever on the side of the seat. And it's literally just plugged onto that. Or held onto that, clipped onto that. There 
we are. We are on our way. Fingers crossed now. Tonight won't be so tiring as my last night shift. Because I was tired on that one. But I say I've had a, had a few hours sleep this afternoon. Now there's Will down there. Look, he's turning around on the junction to go back. So he's going to be going underneath here now. So he's got the Eat More Chips trailer on now. And I've got one of the newer ones on now. So, let's see how this night shift goes, is it? A bit warm in here now. Turn that down a bit. I get too warm, I get tired really quick when it's too warm in here. Right, let's crack on. If anything happens on the way, which I very much doubt because it's overnight, but you never know. If something does happen on the way around, then uh, I will put the cameras back on. Failing that, I will put them on just before I get into uh, Liège and uh, yeah, take you in with me. So, speak to you in a bit, guys. Doodles. Hello! Yeah, join me, ooh, I would say about two and a quarter hours later, just under, something like that. And I've just dropped onto the Brussels Ring Road. Uh, I'm just over halfway. It was 186 miles. I've now got 70 miles to go. And I've made up some pretty good time as well, really. Said I was going to get there for five to three. And now it's telling me I'm going to get there for just after 25 to. So hopefully I'll make up a little bit more time, get there for maybe I don't know, about half past, something like that. Um, so I'll be there a little bit early. Either that or I'll um, I'll stop on the way. Uh, maybe have 15 minutes or something, I've uh, make myself a cup of coffee. Why is he breaking in front of me? I wonder. difference when you're on the ring road overnight <laughs> this is normally chock-a-block time is it now it is now 10 past 1 local time so 10 past 12 in the UK and all is good so far Every time I use the retard, I don't know, I think of that geezer that uh, said I was using it wrong. Because <laughs> the retarder doesn't uh, put the brake lights on apparently, according to him. Um, and I shouldn't be using it approaching lights and whatever else. Don't know how long he's been driving, but I think I've been driving long enough to know how to, uh, to use a retarder. After 800 yards, and, uh, light, then take the motorway. He was saying that the brake lights don't come on when you use a retarder, this, that and the other. Obviously not driven a modern vehicle, that's all I can say. So everyone uh, that's got a retarder on is linked to the braking system. And when it's uh, applied, it puts the brake lights on. So, just goes to show that some people think they know it all. But unfortunately, they don't. That's all I'm going to say on the matter.
Where's the line? There's no line there. I must have picked up that black line in the middle there. Strange. Second part of the ring road now. Ooh, bumpy, bumpy. But, uh, let me know what you think of the. Um, I don't even know what it looks like yet. I haven't looked, but um, let me know what you think about the the camera position behind me on the chair. See if you think it's okay. If I do time lapses or anything like that. I'll stick it back on the screen, but. Um, if this this one gives you a better all-round view, I'll I'll leave it up there. So let me know. I know a lot of you do like it on the windscreen. Uh, there's a lot of you that like it, sort of like on the ladder cam, but it's no chair cam. <laughs> uh, there we are. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you know how I was getting on, uh, making good progress. I got an uh, hour and 22 minutes left to get there. Um, got plenty of driving time. I got just under two hours driving left before I need a break. I've had a working time. I had that while I was at Civep, so I'm going to worry about that. So all I need is a half hour. Um, so I'll either crack on and have a break once I get uh, to my tip, because they're not going to be there till four o'clock, so I can put on break when I get there. And I'm uh, crack on then once I've tipped and I'll have cleared my time. Pull out so this uh, wagon can get on no problem. Some more road works coming up by the look of it. Just flash me in. Slow down now. Fifty kilometers an hour speed limit, yep. Speed camera there as well. Good job I slowed down. <laughs> After one point two miles, keep left. Remember on the last video I said you could see the viaduct uh, as I was coming back up. This is the viaduct. We're actually on it now. kilometers uh, speed limit though while they're doing the roadworks it's like they're uh, resurfacing 50 kilometers now obviously doesn't apply to that guy National speed limit, cruise control back on, and away to go again. Guys, this ring road is so much nicer at night. Hardly any traffic at all. <laughs> uh, dear. Anyway, let's crack on, and I'll probably speak to you in just over an hour's time, just before I get there, or if anything else crops up on the way up then I will put the cameras back on.
I'll see you in a bit, guys. Doodles. Hello! You join me just over an hour later. Right, then take the motorway. Uh, Is this going to be closed as well? Motorways closed going the one way. Uh, where am I going? 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 Where am so I've had to have a slight diversion to the uh, well, part of the Liège or Liège or whatever it's called. And I'm back up onto the motorway now, thank goodness. Uh, I'm only six minutes away now. So I thought I'll put the cameras back on, take you in with me. I'm hoping that's not too bouncy. It looks like it's bouncing around everywhere. Yeah, sort of came up on me with no warning, and all of a sudden, then it said, "Road closed." Oh, great! Just what I need. So, uh, <laughs> after going around a couple of roundabouts a couple of times, <laughs> I got it sorted. Um, I know where I am now. I can uh, I recognise this bit by here. I'll be coming off now in just over a mile's time. This is what I got caught in the traffic the first time I came here in the morning. Uh, it, uh, it did get very, very foggy up on the motorway as well. Actually, I can turn that rear fog lamp off now. This is not so foggy now. So yeah, that's, uh, that's put me back by about four minutes. It did say I was going to get there for 2.34, now it says 2.38. But I've still made quite a bit of time, considering this, I was going to be there for 2.56 when I left Sivet. So, doing okay. I still feel good. Don't feel tired at the moment. Amazing what happens when you can have a couple of hours kip in the afternoon, see? And uh, obviously now it's early hours Wednesday morning, which is the 28th of February, which is my good lady wife's birthday. So, babe, happy birthday. Take the exit, six. I know uh, we're away from each other on your birthday, like we were on mine. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I know you're working, but hope you have a good day, babe. I love you loads. And uh, I'll see you on the weekend. So I've got to stay on the left again here now because I'm going left on the roundabout. After 200 yards, you go left on the roundabout and take the third exit, N642. Go left on the roundabout and take the third exit. Should recognize this bit now. I've been here quite often in the last week. <laughs> yeah, it's been a pretty good time this morning, I've got to be honest. After 800 yards, Go right on the roundabout and take the first exit, N642. Driving the, on the motorways coming down tonight is been, been like what it was like in lockdown. Hardly any traffic on the road at all. Amazing how much time you could make up during that, those times. We worked right through lockdown. Go 
There you go, the brake lights, they're on. Just saying. <laughs> that did tickle me, I gotta be honest. Pay another one euro fifty now to get in this place. <laughs> oh dear, I don't know. But we are here, and we are here very, very early. Say so they don't don't open till four o'clock, unless there's someone there overnight. I don't know. But um, I very much doubt I'll be tipping until gone four. Bumpy, bumpy. Just making sure he was going to be turning left, not trying to overtake me with that car coming. Turn those front fog lamps off now as well. in a bit. Oh, there's Inbev again. <laughs> After 200 yards, turn right, then you have reached your destination. Turn right, then you have reached your destination. Quite reached my destination, but I'm almost there. Reached your destination. Nearly. Gates are open on it now. Yeah, we're good. On. Right. Open the window. Remember, my torch is still in my pocket. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, yeah, one euro fifty. Oh, blimey. That's the button. Now will I get a receipt today? Un instant, I presume that means one minute. Ticket non dispensable There we are. No ticket again. Oh. Right there a second. Oh. Just get in, yeah, before this closes down. Window 
บ้างครับdown towards the bay. do for now until someone comes in and that's me on my first drop but again I gotta wait now so it is now just gone 20 to 3 so got an hour and 18 minutes left before someone turns up so put my feet up put it on break have a cup of coffee and uh, hopefully then get the first lot off so I'll see you in a bit Doodles. Hello. Right, this isn't a very good start. I have to be honest. <laughs> uh, got your app past two, as you know. It is now five minutes past five, and no one's turned up. Still no one here. I was told to be here for four a.m. because that's what time they open, and uh, there's no one here. So, going to be put me out for the rest of them now is uh, the next one in the Netherlands is, I think it was 50 minutes away. And I was supposed to be there before 5 a.m. Um, I was gonna be pushing it if they, they were here at four o'clock. Um, but just waiting to see if there's any cars pulling in. No cars have pulled in. I've had a walk around the three times now just to make sure I have missed a car. There's no one here, so. Just have to wait and see how long I'm here for. But, um, at this rate now, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be going to our Dewey. I don't even know if I'll make it to our Dewey. Um, so, just have to see how long it's going to be before I'm out of here now. <clears throat> so, let's just wait and see. Come back to you when I'm leaving. And let you know what time it is. See you in a bit. Toodles. Right then, I'm done. It is now five to seven. <sighs> Crazy. Um, oh, I am 48 minutes away from my next one now, which should have been there before five o'clock. So I'm not gonna be there till about 20 to eight. And I should have been in my last one at eight o'clock. means I'm about two hours behind now and I might be struggling if I'm supposed to be going to our do it I might struggle to get there now which means I'll have to park up elsewhere and then crack on the well uh, do we then when I start tomorrow not good not a good start I gotta be honest Uh, let's just 
just hope I don't get too much traffic now going over the Netherlands. After 100 yards, bear left, then turn right. As I say, go over the Netherlands, it's literally just over the border. So it's, um, it's not too far from where I am now because I'm right over the east side of bear left, Belgium. Then turn right. So I'm just hoping now traffic's not too bad. Turn right. Can at the end of the road, turn right. Can't tell at the moment because uh, it's telling me I'm in a restricted area, so it's not giving me any traffic updates at the moment. But as soon as I'm out of here, it will. <coughs> that axle now. Nope, still not coming up, must be so heavy. So I've got uh, 11 pallets just come off. Uh, I've got two pallets for the next one At and the then end of the road, six pallets for the one after that. So hopefully I'll be in and out of this one as long as they will tip it now. As I said, it should have been there before 5 a.m. Turn left. You're indicating right there, but. Indicating right before the junction, and you're going straight on. <sighs> Can you tell I'm a bit miffed? <laughs> I got there nice and early, half past two, I thought, yes, four o'clock, should be out there by about quarter to five. I'll be over to the Netherlands one then for quarter to six the latest. Get that one tipped and then down to Heli. And uh, I would have been there before, before eight o'clock. Yeah. Here's what it is. I've let the office know anyway, so when uh, either Toby sees it or when Nick comes in, they'll see that I'm running a little bit behind now for that reason. Wouldn't be picking anything else up today anyway. It'd be just a case, like I said, probably just going to our Dewey and parking up and After 800 yards, bringing one back tomorrow then. Roundabout and take the second exit, N642. In the best of roads, this one. Yeah. Yeah, if I'd have come out here about quarter to five, the traffic would have been much, much lighter. So, but it's not saying I got any traffic Mark, at the moment, so yards, I might be okay. The roundabout and take the second exit, N642. Might be okay. Go left on the roundabout and take the second exit.
Yep, we're around that one. That road there is the one I'm going back up. So that going that way. Just gotta go up to the top here, up to the roundabout. Straight onto there then. After 800 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the first exit, A25, then take the motorway. Right on the roundabout and take the first exit, A25, then take the motorway. Way they're going. You've got to be very, very careful. There we go. Drop back down onto the motorway now. I can crack on. Uh, it says I'm going to be there for quarter to eight, 7.44 at the moment. I might make a, a couple of minutes. Again, as I said, it all depends now on the old traffic. It looks clear on the nav, so we shall just have to wait and see. Right, let's crack on, and I'll speak to you either when I'm at the next one or just before I get in there. See you in a bit. Toodles. Hello! Right, you join me about 40 minutes later. I made up two minutes. I'm six minutes away, apparently. As you can see, I've got the uh, the old Google on as well. Uh, talked to Alex yesterday. He was telling me that um, when I get to this place, it's pretty easy to find he says it's not far off the motorway uh, which this is telling me it's 1.6 miles so it's not too bad and he said the best thing to do is go past it go into the next yard turn around and then you can back in on your good side so obviously you've got to reverse in off the road by the sound of it but we will see now when we get there Typical. Didn't last very long, did it? Have a slurp of coffee. Uh, at the moment it is 20 to 8 local time, so. A little bit behind, to say the least. I was hoping to get you for about six o'clock. Half past five. Half past five, six-ish, maybe. But, um, just go with the flow, innit? Do what you can with what you got. Beyond my control this morning. Lights take forever, don't they? There we go. It's nice and wide because I got cars on the inside. There we 
Nope. yards, cross the roundabout, and take the second exit, N297. I must look my lights this morning, am I? But well, welcome to the Netherlands, by the way. <laughs> yes, I am in Netherlands. The Netherlands. Or Nederland, as it said on the signpost as I came past it, for the border. First time to the Netherlands. Stretching my legs a little bit more. It's not too far outside of Belgium. I'd say it's probably about, I don't know, 15 miles. After 100 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, N297. And the roundabouts are just as tight here as they are in France and Belgium. <sighs> There's another After roundabout coming up. I'm going straight up. Straight over that one. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Another one done. We've got another one to come yet, by the look of it. 1.1 miles away now. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit into 97. The roads aren't very wide, are they? Literally cross the roundabout and take the Just slightly exit. wider than the truck. better <sighs> so another roundabout I'm going right on by the look of it and then right again uh, 30 kilometers an hour speed limit and that's just over the bridge yards, go right on the roundabout and take the first exit, N297, then turn right. Born, that's what I'm after, that way. Go right on the roundabout and take the first exit, then turn right. Something different today. Right again. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. There we go. Like it's some sort of junction, so I'll slow down for it. All good. I 
Not very narrow. Uh, not not very narrow. Not very wide down here, is it? You pulling over for me? Yeah. Thank you. Should be down here somewhere. Looks like another junction. After 200 yards, you have reached your destination. There it is. Like I'm gonna have to reverse into that there by the look of it. Ah, that's it there. Something on the bay. Right, let's put the acids on. Alright. Let's grab the paperwork for it. That was pretty straightforward to find, wasn't it? Not bad at all. Uh, Scarlet. That's the one I want. After 70 yards, you have reached your destination. Okay. All right, let's pop in and see them. Let's see what they say. We'll see you in a bit. Toodles. Okay, the second one done. <sighs> Two hours and six minutes now to my last one. So I'm gonna be there for about half past 10. <sighs> Absolute nightmare. If I'd have been on time, I'd have been there for around about the eight o'clock mark. Oh. It was funny. The, uh, there's a load of these car transporters all lined up to go in somewhere, obviously. And uh, two of them were having a route as well. He thought, I think it was over. Um, yeah, I think the one thought the other one had pulled in and they were just having a major argument. In sounded like Italian. <laughs> Uh, there we are. Must be a new car depot or something down there. There's loads of them waiting to go down there. Turn left. Strange road left, systems. Turn left. There we go, and we are oh, back on the main road. So let's crack on and let's get down to Halley, get that one off. I'm definitely not going to make it to Ardui if that's where they want to send me. Because uh, it's three hours from Halley to Ardui and I'll only have an hour and a half left by the time it's tipped. If that, depending on how long it'll take it to tip it. So I've only got till half twelve. So. So, oh yeah, so if half 12, yeah, half 12 this time, because it was half eight, half nine I started last night, yeah. So half 12, uh, European time. So yeah, I have two hours left when I get there. So it all depends on how long it takes them to tip me. 
then uh, that's how long I'll have left to drive. So I'm just going to have to find somewhere to park up and then make my way over in the morning. Oh, get past these little roundabouts now, get back onto the motorway. And we'll be good to go then. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit into 97. I think there was three roundabouts, wasn't there? Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Tiny little roundabouts. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout. Compared to ours, anyway, you know. Exit into 97. That battery then looks low on there right. as well. Change that over. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit, then turn right. Slow traffic on E40, A3. Traffic jam ahead between N3 Turbo as a steamwork and N2 ah, 27. Nice. Nine steamway. minutes delay. Nine minutes delay. That's going to take it even longer to get there. After 100 yards, turn right, A2, then take the motorway. Turn right, then take the motorway. A green light going to my right, so that's good. Back on the motorway. on, get up to 56, there we go, job done, you think I'm in the air shoulder, I'm not, <laughs> you see the lorries in that lane as well, and you can see the, uh, well you can see with that camera, but you've got the green arrow above, although it does look like I'm in the hard shoulder. Right then, let's crack on. Let's get over to Halley, see if I can get this off and then see where I'm going to park up to. See you in a bit. Toodles. Hey guys. Literally six minutes away now. You join me almost two hours later. Those mirrors are absolutely brilliant. Uh, as you would have seen, Brussels Ring Road again. Uh, set me back a little bit, so I've lost about five minutes, I'd say. Pull that up a minute, screws the end. Uh, yeah, I've lost about five minutes, so it says I'm going to get there for 10.35 now. Um, yeah, I'm not going to have a lot of time left when I come out of here. Um, hopefully, I can get straight on the bay. Fingers crossed. Uh, I've only got until half past 12 local time. I think I said that earlier on. But um, yeah, by the time I come out of here now, it's probably going to be about half past 11. It's going to give me an hour. 
So it's basically going to be a case of find the first set of services and pull in there. That'll be uh, more or less a 15 hour day then. Oh, I'm pulling up the traffic lights. I shouldn't be using my retarder. Whatever. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Uh, you probably uh, recognize this because uh, I brought you in here the last time I came in. But I thought, well, I'll just put the cameras back on again. Why not, innit? And thank you for everyone I put a post up this morning wishing Claire a happy birthday and the, the response I've had off you guys all you all of you wishing Claire a happy birthday thank you very much it is very much appreciated there's quite a few on there I'm not sure how many but my phone hasn't stopped since I put it up this morning so thank you very much guys Showing the love. Ah, two minutes away now. And don't I look much better this morning? Considering, you know, I've been up all night and driving. It does help when you have a good sleep in the afternoon. Helps massively. <laughs> Right, I know I've got to turn left up here now. It's all coming back to me. Yards, turn left, then there we are. You have reached your destination. I can just go straight down. I'm going to stop at the gate now this time. I know where I'm going with it. Turn left, then you have reached your destination. After 200 yards, you have reached your destination. And we are here. You have reached your destination. There we go. There we are. All the way around the building. A white coat on now and a hairnet. <laughs> and I've got to go in. They tip it, but I've got to be stood by the bay while they tip it. So they know I'm not in the truck.
be 107 or 108. Was it 108, 109, I think? I went on 107 last time because there was two trailers on each bay. Well, two trailers there. It was a trailer on 108, tra trailer on 109. Truck there waiting, there's a truck there, no it's not. Uh, 108, 109 is full again, got 106 empty and 107 has got something on it, so looks like I might have to wait. A bit some off the crossing. We nice bit of driving, mate. Pull him by there. Now where he was. Paperwork for this one. It's there. That up there. Excuse the mess behind me. <laughs> I will sort that out after. Right then. Let's go get this sorted. I'll see you in a bit. Doodle. Right, I'm all done. I have 45 minutes left on a 15. So it's an hour and a half from here to Ardui. So I'm not going to make Ardui. I don't know which way I'm headed yet though, because I'm. Uh... Has he let me out? Has he? Uh, uh... Thank you. Um, yeah, I haven't been told which way I'm headed yet. I presume it's our Dewey. That looks like it's going to run out. It says there's no battery on there, but it's working. <laughs> well, that's working, but it's working. At the end of the road, turn right. Pull over here a second. very very low I'm just gonna head for our Dewey I think I got a feeling that's probably where I'm going I'll get there as, as close to it as I can because uh, I've now got 40 minutes left so I think it's literally gonna be the first services I come to and I'm gonna be pulling into At the end of the road, but I'd like to have got to our Dewey because I've had a shower and everything right. else but I ain't got the time to get there. I'll get out of here in a minute. There you go. There we are, we're out. I didn't foot all the way. I'm just heading straight over to where I do you know. Another reason why it was I thought it was three hours is because last time I went back down to Liege, didn't I? Went back down to Liege and uh, had to run back to where I do you from there then and that was three hours. So I 
So we shall just have to wait and see what happens now. But that was um, in there for about just over an hour. So I said it'd be about an hour, didn't I? So I wasn't far wrong. Um, the time I got on the bay. Go to Dad to please collect trailer 95 going to Aylesford. Find out what time that's for. Find out what time to go in in the morning. Right, let's crack on and I will, um, I'll speak to you when I'm parked up and do my little outro and whatever else. But uh, yeah, that was a pretty good tip that, so not too bad. All right, let's crack on. I'll speak to you in a bit. Doodles. Hello. Right, I'm all packed up. Just been over to use the facilities and uh, sort myself out. Have a wash. Whatever else, I am absolutely shattered now. Uh, not as bad as I was before, though. I've got to be honest. Uh, over there. Um, not as bad as last time. <laughs> I'm um, definitely more awake than last time. That's without a shadow of a doubt. But that's because I had a good kip yesterday afternoon. So, um, so I've got to go to our Dewey, uh, as you know. Uh, it's for eight thirty in the morning. Uh, the delivery is anyway, um, and uh, it's in Aylesford, so it's not too far from when I get back over. So it's probably going to be something like a two a.m. start. Um, so I'm an hour and a quarter away from our Dewey now. So I gotta go up there, change trailers, sort the paperwork out, and uh, and head up and head over to the uh, head over to the train. Um, it's about 45 minutes from the train to Aylesford, um, so give myself plenty of time. So say it's an hour and a quarter from here to. Um, to our Dewey, and then you're looking another hour and 45 minutes uh, to the train from, from there. Then, depending on how long it takes to get the train, uh, could be an hour, could be longer, all depends how busy it is in the morning. Um, if I time it right, I should be able to get there for about 5 a.m., so it shouldn't be too bad then. There's a truck over there, as you can see. Um, so hopefully I'll get there for about 5 a.m. and um, it shouldn't be too busy then. Fingers crossed. Uh, let's get back in the truck. Right. Hang on. Give me two ticks. Give me shoes off. I gotta sort this truck out. It's a state. Oh. Um. Oh. Right, so close, key in there, tune back on there. Uh, so yeah, if I can get there for about five o'clock, uh, then if I'm in there for about, I don't know, an hour or so, waiting for the train to come over, then it got an hour back as well uh, in times. So, should get there with plenty of time. Don't know where in Aylesford I'm going yet. Um, could be an RDC, it could be something else, could be a um, cash and carry or anything. Anywhere that takes frozen veg. <laughs> could be anywhere. Um, I won't know until I get the paperwork. Um, I'm not going to record it, but what I'll do is I'll uh, put in the description where I, exactly I went and then. Uh, uh, ah, it's the birthday girl. Hang on, darling. Hello. Hello. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Still got the cameras running a sec. And... Oh. Come on. Switch on. Ray didn't want to come on. 
Right, so, um, yeah, that's me done for this week, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you are watching and not subscribed, then pre when I contemplate, press that subscribe button and then press your bell notification, get notifications when the vlogs come out. Don't forget to follow The Breeze, Ben, on uh, YouTube. Go and check his channel out. And uh, if you like what you see with him, go and give him a sub. Thanks for watching, guys. Do appreciate it. Whatever you're doing, be safe, be good, and I'll most definitely catch you in the next one. Toodles.